spoken word. This is entitled, My Body. I've been waiting here for five hours. This poor excuse of a paper towel thin gown doesn't do anything to cover up my body, my body, my body in which you laid claim. One night of pleasure in which you were screaming my name and other loud profane accolades at the ecstasy I gave to you from my body. I sit holding my belongings in this small sterilite basket waiting, 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 unashamed. The decision was made. It was better this way. The decision was made. $465 paid. I could turn back, but then could I turn back? Can I face my mother, my father, my son? Can I face God after what it is that I've done? This was mere convenience for you. Can I continue on? This is my body, my body, my conscience, my mind telling me that you were nothing but a liar and my lonely desires fell prey to your slick words and tender hands, your sweet kisses upon my neck as your fingers wandered towards the button of my pants. I am thrown on the bed and immediately devoured the power you held over my orgasmic state. Then entering inside of me, don't come inside of me, don't come inside me. The condoms are in the car. Nevertheless, you'd gone too far. I laid there as your prey. It was too late. It is too late to turn back now. I am seven weeks and six days. You couldn't be there. No, you wouldn't be there. A real man would own up to his mistakes. I sat there watching the trash TV they had playing in the waiting room, wishing that the volume that I was given would take effect soon. It is too late to turn back now. The nurse called my name. She smiled and told me, the doctor is great. You're in good hands. I was led to a room, a dimly lit room in the table. A table prepared for my arrival. The doctor was laughing. This is an all-state. I don't think I'm in good hands. Why are these death dealers laughing? Are they laughing at me? Are they laughing at why I am here? Why are they laughing? Sit on the table, sweetie. Scoot to the edge. Basically, put your booty in the air. Doctors don't talk this way. He retrieved his tools. I laid there, staring at the ceiling. And then came the pain. The sheer hurt flowed throughout my body and outside of my body, my body, my body as I withheld my screams of agony. The tears filled my eyes as I knew no one would feel sorry for me. A nurse held my hand as she placed pressure on my stomach. The six week and seven day $465 mistake was being removed in the most harmful of ways. Fifteen minutes later and then it was done. They were listening to the radio. The Bee Gees' Stayin' Alive was being played. Stayin' Alive, how ironic to hear as I endured this horrific pain. My body limped off of the table. The tears flowed free. My fetus was gone. They said, don't call it a baby. The world moved forward for that moment in time, but not I. My heart ached. No one would feel sorry for me just this one time.